Chio 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 Six Air. I'm here to help you out with Marvel Heroes Omega. Okay, I was that guy. I was that guy. I didn't know what an Eternity Splinter was. I was that guy looking for help on how to unlock a character. And I started watching all these videos and it just confused me more. So I'm here to make a simple explanation video on how to unlock characters. I'll get into your item setups. I'll get into how to level up your research and development team. Things like that. Let's start with Eternity Splinters and unlocking characters, okay? Eternity Splinters are drops that you get by beating up enemies around the map. They drop every 8 to 10 minutes. And depending on the strength of the character you beat up will be the more Eternity Splinters they drop. So at this moment, these guys aren't very tough, but this is in between going to a boss battle. So this happened to drop three. I believe my next drop will be four, even stronger character. Boss characters are known to even drop five, like Mal Ma Malekith, or I, he's in Odin Palace. You'll find him. Trust me. Here you can see a four dropper. Boom. Now what you do with these Eternity Splinters is you want to go to the Xbox Store. Now when you go to the Xbox store, you'll see Eternity Splinters in your top right hand corner. I'll pop it up here for you in a second. Boom! There it is. There's Stark, the, your count you and how many so Eternity Splinters you've collected. And here is the count that it costs to unlock a character. I suggest going to the Xbox store if you're on Xbox, getting Daredevil, starting with him, or even buying the Hulk. The Hulk is an OP character and he's only 200 Eternity Splinters. What a steal. Alright, next thing you're going to want to do is go into equipment. Go over to supplies. Go up to loot crates. Now you get these upon completing quests. In the story mode. The tutorial. You can also go in the danger scenario room. You can go in, well it's the danger room and complete scenarios. You know what I was saying. Come on. No, <laughs> that's what I was saying. And then you can go into the patrol and also do alerts and quests. And I believe you can get some that way too. These contain all sorts of things that will level up your character. It even contains skins that you also have to collect yet another set of income to purchase in the store. Alright, let's dip into equipment right quick. Alright, these are all the slots for perks to help power your character now when you get into this equipment you can either sell it because you're gonna get a ton of drops believe that there is no shortage of drops in this game but the way you dispose of it can be a little difficult now you can either sell it donate it to one of the vendors to upgrade their level which is important so you can unlock better stuff and obviously research and build rare equipment for your character. So I would suggest donating it first before selling it. Get your level up to about 6 or 7 and then proceed to get the credits to purchase the upgraded items. You get what I'm saying? I didn't know this at first so I didn't donate. I had a level 1 and a whole ton of credits and I couldn't spend them. Now when you hit level 6 or 7, I believe you unlock your sprint for each character. I suggest, this is what I did, is just sprint through each level. Unlock all the side missions in the main mission before you enter the main mission. Then go back, do the side missions, get your loot, and proceed to beat up the boss. Sprint, sprint, fast as f boy. As you are sprinting through the maps though. If you run into Slimer, I like to call him. I don't know what the hell this thing is, but it drops a ton of stuff for you. So kill him at all costs. Kill the Slimer. Remember that. He has good stuff. Alright, let's go back to the supplies and equipment. Consumables. Now, you can get these. The Daily Bugle has an event every day that you could do. And that will give you a power-up. 
You can also go into the danger room. You don't unlock the danger room until you hit chapter 3 of the story, I believe. And then you can pop in the danger room, consume a scenario, and play through it for extra items and stuff. Side missions are always beneficial. It gives you good loot. Good loot. Go into a side mission, say like, a, I forget some of the names, um, like a sunken cave. Or clear out the enemies inside that little map. Come back to the exit, and there will be a loot chest there waiting for you. Maybe with something special. And take advantage of the boss fights, man. The boss fights are awesome. Awesome. The cinematics in this game are amazing. The gameplay is fun. That about sums up everything I can help you out with. So, I'll leave you guys with a couple cinematics, and uh, you guys know what to do. Load up. But my plan was perfect. This is Loki's age. <laughs>